What's up guys, this is Dylan from the band Piron, here today to show you how to play one of the main riffs from the song Balkanized. It's one of the tracks on our newly released album, The Mother of Virtues. The riff I'm going to be showing you is the second unique riff in the song. It comes in about 45 seconds into the tune. Now, if you're familiar with the song, it's the riff with the kind of weird noisy bending sound. So I guess I'll just start by playing through the section and then I'll break down all the different components and whatnot. And first of all, I'm tuned to D standard and I'm also playing through my shitty practice amp it's not the greatest sound quality anyhow here is the riff <laughs> So that is the whole riff. The way it's structured is the riff plays three times, and then the fourth time, there's kind of a variation on the main riff. So it's three times through the main part, and then one time through the variation. So let's uh, just go ahead and slow down all the different parts of the riff and make it a little bit easier to decipher. So in order to play this riff, you want to have your whammy bar, your tone arm, whatever you want to call it, locked into place so that it's sitting close to the strings. I like to keep it more or less parallel to the strings. You can see it kind of right here and that just makes it easy to go between picking and using the whammy bar because otherwise you're going to need to reach down every time you need to use it and there are lots of fast motions between picking and using the whammy and also as i mentioned the guitar is tuned to d standard on the album so if you want to make it sound the same that's what you have to be tuned to so let's just take it from the top of the riff the first part of the riff is fairly straightforward there's a slide and then a pull off into the open strings and then two palm muted hits on the second and third frets where you're just barring the low strings and then there's an open hit on the uh, top three strings. You're gonna be uh, holding down the first fret on the top two strings and then the third string is open. And then that is straight into an open hit on the second fret barred on the, the bottom few strings. So the middle of that would go. So the whole thing slowed down sounds like this. Following that is two beats of tremolo on the 7th and 6th frets. Pretty straightforward, you're just doing 32nd note triplets for that part at the regular tempo. And then after that is the part of the riff where you utilize the whammy bar. And for this whole section, you're going to be using uh, the same chord voicing. You're just going to be sliding it up and down the neck. So it's the same chord shape everywhere you go. It sounds different when you're just sliding it up and down. The place where you start using the chord voicing, you're going to have your index finger on the fourth fret on the bottom string, your middle finger on the fifth fret on the uh, fourth string from the bottom, your ring finger on the sixth fret on the fifth string from the bottom. So. <laughs> Immediately after the tremolo, there's just an eighth note hit on that particular voicing. And then right after that, after the eighth, after the eighth note, push the whammy down all the way so that the strings are essentially muted. You can still hear a little bit of noise coming from it. So it's an eighth note hit and then an eighth note compression. And then you let the whammy bar back up for another eight, eighth note. So it'll go. And then you slide up to the 10th fret and then back to the 9th, all with the same chord voicing. So slowed down, it goes like this. And after that, there's the, the last kind of section of the riff. You're using the same chord voicing again, this time starting on your index finger on the 8th fret on the bottom string your middle finger on the 9th fret on the 4th string, and your ring finger on the 10th fret on the 5th string. And so you start with another 8th note hit, you compress, and then before letting it back up, you're going to slide the voicing up to the 13th fret, and then you're going to release the whammy bar so that it sort of creates this weird kind of upward bending sound, and then you slide back to the 12th fret. The, the final component of the riff, slowed down, goes like this. <laughs> So that whole section, the whole whammy section, I'm going to play again, slowed down. It goes like this. 
Just play through that whole section again, regular speed, so you can see it one more time. Every time that riff appears in the song, the main section of the riff, which I just played, repeats three times, and then the fourth time through the riff, there's a variation where a lot of it's the same, but there are small differences. So you still have the slide on the fourth time through. The, the whole part of it's the same through the through the palm mutes and into the, the hit on the, uh, the high strings with, on the one fret. Instead of going back to the barred hit on the second fret, it goes straight into the trem part, again, on the 7th and 6th. So it goes like this. And then the beginning of the whammy part, again, the fourth time through the riff, is the same. It starts. The second half of the whammy part starts the same. It starts on the 8th. But you just compress it, let it back up, and then slide down to the 7th fret, like so. And the riff ends with a different chord voicing that you're going to be manipulating with the whammy bar. The voicing start, it's again, you're sliding the chord voicing. So you're going to be doing it in two different positions, but it's the same voicing both times, essentially. You're going to have your index finger on the sixth fret of the third string and your pinky on the ninth fret of the fifth string. And you're going to let the four string ring open. The voicing sounds like this. And you're going to be going from here down to the first position. And for each position, you're just going to be doing a hit, pulling up and pushing back down. Like this. So sped up, it goes like this. And so I'll play through the whole fourth repetition of that riff. So that's basically it. Let me just play through the whole section one more time for you. That's that. Thanks for watching and a little a little shameless self-promotion. If anybody is interested in lessons, I am currently offering lessons either in person if you live in the New York City area or via Skype. So just uh, go ahead and hit me up. You can email me at dylan.delella at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.